We're going to be looking into some occupied rental properties. Carrie, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. And if you are new to Holton Wise TV, this is the first time you've ever seen us pop on your uh, computer screen or your smartphone or whatnot. We have several shows here on Holton Wise TV. And what we do at Holton Wise TV, right, we sell real estate, we handle construction, we handle title, we handle insurance, we handle everything, right? We allow real estate investors to passively invest in real estate from the top down. And the spearhead of our operation, what we do, it's the media and education business. It's educating you guys to be better investors. So our products and services, we have the ability to do everything from top to bottom. You could literally make one call to our team and we could handle everything everything on your behalf, but we don't have to, right? We're an a la carte service. All of our products and services, they are available on an a la carte basis. And one of our products is this particular show, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. What this is, is this is uh, you hiring me, my team, to work for you on your behalf. We are going to take your wants, your needs, your goals, your budget, most importantly, your budget, what you have, and we're going to kind of navigate you through things and uh, narrow in on some properties that are going to work specifically for you. One of the most uh, popular packages is a package that my guy Kerry got. It's a 10 property package, right? If you go to HoltonWise.com, you go to the property search for sale tab, you could cruise here first before I even get to that, the investment properties for sale show. If you're not looking for a one-on-one -on -one experience and you just want to browse our inventory, that's where you want to go. Make sure you subscribe to our mailing list as well. We email our inventory out to you every day, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But if you're looking to really work together one-on-one -on -one and have somebody guide you through this thing and provide your products and services you need to help you invest in real estate, look out for you. Make sure you're not getting into properties that are too risky for your particular appetite. That's what you want to do. And this 10 property package, I think, is the smartest, the best package we have. Number one, we priced it cheaper than the others on a per-property basis by a lot. It's currently even cheaper right now. It's on sale. Number two, most important reason is uh, there's a lot of back and forth. Not everything's going to work, right? Like if you're watching shows and YouTube and other gurus or whatever you want to call them, man, real estate coaches, real estate trainers, whatever, dude, people will tell you like, oh, it's super easy. Do this, this, and this. You'll get deals. And like everybody comes to Cleveland because our prices are cheaper. But like, dude, if you think there's just like – all these like super profitable rental properties are just sitting on trees and everything's going to be perfect, dude. It ain't like that, man. This ain't the land of milk and honey, right? And that's kind of where we're at today, right? Uh, the 10 property package is sweet because we can go back and forth and not everything's going to work out and carry. You asked me, I've done several videos for you, bro, and you asked me to, to find you a couple more multifamilies and you're trying to get occupied rentals right now. You don't want to put a lot of cash up front. I think you're trying to stay around 5K if possible uh, as far as upfront acquisition costs, right? You want tenants already in there, right? And this is why the 10 property package is sweet because the two properties I'm going to show you today, these are properties uh, that I analyzed for previous clients uh, just a few days ago, right? Both of these are pretty recent. And in both situations, uh, after reviewing the video, the clients, they decided to go a different path, right? It takes a few videos. It takes a, a little time of working together to really narrow down what you guys want. Sometimes you guys are sending me information about stuff you think you want. Then I send it to you and you're like, you know what? I don't know if I really want that. And that's uh, exactly what happened here, right? This, this property I'm about to show you. This is exactly what the investor thought he wanted, uh, but then upon me showing it to him, he's like, you know what? 
I think that might be a little bit uh, more risky than what I'm really trying to do right now for my first investment. Let's move up in asset class. Let's go to B class only. But Carrie, I know what you want. Me and you, we've done several videos, so I think this one's going to fit you, brother. So I'm going to show you that footage now. 3420 West 117th. Just listed six days ago for 69900 I'm going to tell you, that's a banging price for this property. That is the price we're going to want to pay. Now, what we currently have, we got one tenant in there. They're paying 700 a month. The other unit's vacant. We're going to do some uh, repairs to that. I'm going to go over those here shortly, but once we do those, we're going to get 750 in rent. So, dude, this thing's going to bring in 1450 all right? 1450 a month. That's $17,400 a year. Now, the listing agents, uh, a couple cats out of Realty Express, okay? They provided some photos, and it's nothing special, nothing spectacular, right? It, it, to be honest, it's kind of run down, right? Like a couple things. Like this floor, all right, this is how you tell that uh, the, uh, the, the current owner hasn't, you know, really taken like what we like to call pride of ownership, right? They're kind of trying to do things as cheaply as possible. He didn't really stain this. He just kind of painted it brown. Um, and you could also tell, see the wall and the trim, right? These are the same color, dude. He's just like, fuck it. One color, and then we'll paint the fucking floor, right? That's that's showing that the cat is, is, is you know, I'm not going to use the term slumlord, but, I mean, the cat is doing it as cheap as humanly possible, right? In this kitchen, dude, this is booty. This is just fucking gross. Like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, blah, right? That's what your tenants are going to think. Blah, right? Nobody fucking wants to live in that kitchen, right? So the bones are fine. It's a solid property. I love the neighborhood. C-class neighborhood. But, dude... We, we got to give us some love, bro, because, like, if you just give them this grody, old, gross-looking kitchen, all we're going to get is grody tenants that are problems, and it, it's just, it's not good, right? So we're going to need to do some cosmetic rental, man. We're going to need to make this unit look better. So we're going to budget ten grand. Now, this thing is priced right, though, dude. Like, I'm making, I'm not making fun of the property. I'm just calling it like I see it, right? This is a freaking great deal, great neighborhood, great cash flow. But let's call it like it is, dude. Like, it's a solid investment, but nobody's looking at that kitchen like, fuck yeah, man, I cannot wait to cook dinner in that kitchen. Nobody's saying that. But with $10,000 going into this, we can give them that, right? So you got to pay list, dude. Like, there's going to be investors. This is going to have multiple offers on it. I guarantee, dude. This thing's priced right. So $69.9, we're not going to mess around. Come in full force. $69.9. If you, you know, you're trying to get a deal, if you think you're going to pick it up at $60, not going to happen, dude. $69.9, we're going to budget ten k to fix it up. Be all in at $79.9. That's how we'll get the fourteen fifty in rent. We're going to budget 72 bucks for repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures, right? CapEx, dude, that's our roof. I guarantee you that's not a brand new roof. A roof on a house like this is going to last every 30, you know, 30 years. It's probably going to be like a seven dollars or $8,000 roof. So we're going to budget for that, right? We're going to save $72 a month. So that money's going to come to you with your owner disbursements. But don't think that it's cash flow because no, eventually... You're gonna need to replace that roof. You got two furnaces, both cost three grand. Those get replaced every 30 years. Water tanks, hot water tanks, they're cheaper, only about a grand, but you gotta do those every 15 years, right? So we gotta save up for that stuff, repairs and maintenance, right? We're about to do a big old $10,000 reno to make that unit look beautiful. Well, you got another tenant already paying 700, so we ain't gonna mess with that, but dude, eventually, that tenant's going to move out. I would anticipate the other unit needs going to need a big old reno. And then from there after, every time we have just like regular little turnovers, you're going to spend some money, right? So you're saving that, right? And then you got your taxes, your insurance, guys. We'll take care of your insurance. Farmer's insurance, I own it. Not the whole company, obviously, but we own a franchise. Uh, we're also appointed with other insurance providers coast to coast. So wherever you're watching me from, wherever you have rental properties in the show notes below, Click it. Let us quote you. We could probably save you some money on your insurance premiums. As for you, Thorsten, we'll probably be able to insure this for 80 bones. Water sewer, average, 150. Uh, 44 for the lawn care, and then 145 coming back to Holton Wise. Of course, you got to pay the man for what we do. So of that 1450 dude, 
731 should be your budgeted expenses. Some months, of course, some years are going to be different than others, right? Like the year you have a $10,000 uh, turnover, we're, we're going to account for that in your acquisition cost here. But like, you know, down the road, you know, you might have like a whole bunch of zeros for repairs and then boom, that other tenant moves out. We do a $10,000 rehab on that particular unit to get you a new tenant. So of course that year, your number is going to be blown, right? So there's going to be ups, they're going to be downs, but these are the overall average, right? So, with that said, you should be clearing approximately 8600 a year, but let's finance it, dude. Let's finance it, right? So, all in, you're all into this investment, 79,000. Your down payment is going to be 17,475, and then of course, like I said, that 10,000, we're going to account for that in your acquisition. So, out of pocket cash is what you see on the chart there, 27,475. Bank gives you a mortgage for the rest. At the end of the day, bro, this is going to be a 21.8% return on your cash, right? You're putting up 17 grand for the down payment plus $10,000 to get us ready to rock and roll, and then you're going to earn that return. This is going to be a solid deal, solid C-class investment, dude. This is a solid C-class area. I have literally hundreds of duplexes in this area. These... Uh, they're just cash cows, bro. Solid deal, right? So, of course, uh, you'll reply to this private email. And if you'd like to make a move on this property, uh, my team will write up that offer for you. We'll be your buyer's agent. We're working for you, for you alone. We ain't working for the seller. He's got his own agents. That's out of Cats out of Realty Express. We're only working for you, trying to get you the best deal possible. But in this particular situation, uh, we're just going to have to just you know, get you the deal because there's going to be other buyers. Now, we're going to set up your inspection with a third-party home inspector. We'll give you referrals. But anybody you want to hire is fine with us. And we may, we may be able to negotiate a couple things after that inspection if we see some issues. But more or less, I just want to set the proper expectations that you're going to get a big old report, dude. It's going to be like 50, 90 pages. Uh, don't be alarmed by that. Uh, I'm not anticipating anything in this property is new, right? I don't think the roof's new. You're not going to have new furnaces. You're not going to have new hot water tanks. Don't go into that expecting those things. We budgeted for them uh, for their eventual replacements. But, you know, at this price point, uh, you know, you're going to get mid to end of life uh, mechanicals. But, again, still a solid deal. What we're really looking for on that inspection report is something major, right? Like if the home inspector found uh, major structural issues with the in the basement there, that would be a problem. We might want to pull out of the deal at that point because, you know, you got major structural problems, guys. If you're trying to fix a structural issue in a basement, right, you got to redo the whole wall. You're looking at like $130 a square foot replacing all that and if it's on the driveway side you gotta drop another 10 g's to pull the driveway up and then put a brand new driveway back down when you're done so the, you know the whole thing can get really costly so that's really what we're looking for when we get those inspectors those major unknowns with the little ticky tack stuff talking about uh this or that i mean we're not really that worried about it because we know it's going to happen man this is this uh this is an old property right the housing stock in the cleveland market you know it's almost 100 years old, or it might be a little bit more than 100 years old. All right, Kerry, welcome back, brother. Let me know if you like that one. I think you're going to dig it, right? What you said, you want to you wanna find stuff that's uh, got tenants in there. That one's got one of two units occupied. The property I'm going to show you next is completely occupied. Uh, you know, the one thing is, like, you know, back to, like, the, it's not the land of milk and honey. Like, there is not, like, a huge, huge, huge inventory of just, like, super turnkey, fully rehab properties ready to go. Like, the most of the time, the only people that sell that stuff are professional vendors, and that's their business is rehabbing and tenanting and renovating uh, turnkey rental properties, right? We don't really have... Uh, a large footprint of those type of vendors in the Cleveland market. So what you're going to get is really just landlords who've been in the game and they just decided, you know what, I'm ready to get out of the game. And you'll get something like that, right? You're going to get like a property in the middle, dude. It's not like a full rehab project. It's not like nothing's going on, but it's not like somebody just like went in and totally renovated everything, got everything ready to rock uh, to sell as part of their business, right? They just Their business was running rental properties and they decided they feel like exiting that business for whatever reason and that's what you get. So that's that property but dude that's a solid deal man i like that one for you let me know if you like it uh quickly let's go to a word from the sponsor of today's show them i get to the second one for you which i think you're really really going to dig because both units are occupied based in indianapolis indiana fs houses is the premier investment property brokerage 
with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. All right, Kerry, welcome back, dude. Now, as far as this one goes, same deal, man. Going, you know, going with the theme of today's show, right? It takes time uh, to put together deals. Another investor uh, originally thought, you know, he'd be interested in this. After, you know, reviewing the video, seeing everything, he's like, you know what? Let's shift gears a little bit. Let's go in another direction. So that's what we're doing. I think this one, though, it, it fits your needs, right? It fits what you're trying to do. Uh, it's got two occupied units, which, you know, that's what you're looking for. That's what you've tasked me to do here. Um, as you're going to see in the footage, though, the units... They're below market rent. That's, you know, again, you don't see a lot of like super turnkey, fully renovated, well priced properties, uh, just like specifically positioned that way to sell in this market. We don't have a lot of uh, vendors out there doing that. Truth be told, there really isn't anybody running like a large scattered site portfolio besides Holton Wise uh, in this market, right? Our our level of competition is very, very low, right? We've pretty much cornered this market. And, you know, I think if there's turnkey providers out there, they're looking at other markets where they don't have to come in and deal with a behemoth like us, right? Um, so, if you guys are, you know, looking for like stuff that's specifically, uh, you know, been put on the market in an effort to get it to sell, again, you want to check out the investment properties for sale show. But otherwise, you're going to deal with stuff like this. So, Kerry, let's take a look at that footage right now. 3161 West 92nd Cleveland, 4 for 102. Just came on the market today. Zero days on the market. Literally just popped up. I saw this, uh, and I was like, dude, this will work good for this guy. $49,000 is what they got it listed at. Now, we don't have too, too much information on the property. Let's read what the listing agent said. Listing agent working out of uh, Keller Williams Brokerage. Um, Two-family duplex, wood floors throughout. Both units are two-bed, one-bath, fenced-in yard. Both units lease, positive cash flow. On the screen, you can see the rents right there. Each unit, two, one, four fifty in rent. Now, let's go to the photos. We don't have much, dude. It's just outside stuff, but that, that's pretty normal. Uh, there is a couple clues here, which, you know, based upon this neighborhood, I would have already, like, assumed or known this based on the neighborhood and the, and the price range. But don't expect this thing to be, like, this super fresh, like, beautiful property it's not going to cut out like that like you got some issue here right there you know the the stuff's all chipping and messed up these are just like when we don't have a lot of photos like it's nice to be able to just like take these little hints right like you see this this is peeling paint right you can see this peeling paint you could really like learn a lot just from these exterior photos because like if the exterior is already starting to look worn and stuff dude the interior is going to be the same like even down here too right like you can see like this this like uh gating grading whatever you call that stuff like that's all broken you know more just like peeling and stuff just like you see a lot of like wear which is it's fine for what we're doing you just you got to see this stuff like this railing 
it's not even proper. I mean, look at all the hints I'm grabbing just from this picture. I'm trying to get off this picture, but I keep noticing these. Like, those don't even look like 4 by 4s to me. First of all, it's crooked as fuck, but that just looks like somebody just, some fucking handyman special from a motherfucker that's not that handy just threw up 2 by 4 2 by 4 2 by 4 right? It's not like a real fucking railing or anything, right? So let me get off this picture. Uh, I could probably go on for days. Um, with this picture, but let me get to the the next one. There's one I really wanted to show you. Like, boom, right here, right? Like, look at the back, right? This just shows you what you're dealing with, dude. Like, look, that's a boarded up window. How long has that window been boarded up, right? Now, I know I told you let's not buy the quad and let's do this one instead, and then I've just been talking shit about it. But that's okay, man. There's a, there's a rhyme and a reason to it, right? I just I want you to you know get the proper expectations with what you're trying to do, right? Um, like this is what you're buying, right? So it's it's rough, okay? It's rough. But as you know, I already said the rents four fifty four fifty. Those are low, okay? Those are low rents too. That's that's key, right? So right now it brings in nine hundred ten thousand eight hundred dollars a year. Now the price they have it listed at forty nine thousand. I don't think you have to pay forty nine thousand, even though it just hit the market. I think we can utilize some of the stuff that I just showed you, right? It's a it's an old beat up property. It's in a D class neighborhood. Um, I will, my team, we manage like hundreds of properties in this little area. You're kind of close to the Metro Health stuff. It's like, oh, you know, we're a little bit away. Like, you're not in walking distance to Metro Health and all the good stuff that's happening over there. But, like, it's, it's more or less a similar neighborhood. If you're going to, if you're sick and you live here, you're going to go to a hospital. You're going to go to that hospital. So, like, there is promise in this neighborhood. So, I, I feel very comfortable investing in this neighborhood. Uh, would not feel comfortable buying rentals in the Lakeview neighborhood, dude. I see nothing good happening over there right now. Maybe that changes, but, you know, in this particular neighborhood, it's rough, not as rough, and we have a very good reason to believe things are going to get better, so I'd like this. But you got to go Section 8. Neither of these two tenants are Section 8, and they're both paying under market rent. So the strategy for these two tenants, dude, leave them alone, right? Leave them alone. Don't fuck with them. Don't try to increase the rent. Don't do anything, dude, because it's still a positive cash flow property. And based upon what I'm looking at outside, when these tenants do move out, and they will, right, natural turnover is going to occur. When they do move out, though, bro, anticipate like a $10,000 rehab in each of the units to get them Section 8 ready to bring in market rent, which over here right now, we're looking at anywhere between like 650 and 700 bucks a month, right? So we're going to be able to get the, the rent dramatically up, right? Like currently brings in nine. We could eventually bring in as much as 1400 a month. But with the fact that it's kind of, you know, you know, it's rough. It's, you know, it's a dog, right? We're going to try to pick it up for 44 k If you if you do that right now, pick it up for 44 k the 900 comes in. We're going to anticipate 635 on average coming out. It's going to leave us with 265 a month for our average NOI. Now, I cannot stress this enough, dude. That is an average NOI. It ain't going to look like that every month, right? Look at this chart. You're not going to get $45 bills every month from Holton Wise for repairs and maintenance, dude. Like right now, we're probably not going to do very many repairs, right? We got two paying tenants in there. They're obviously, you know, used to rough conditions. We're not going to mess with them. Of course, if they call in for repairs, we're going to fix those. There's like leaking, but, you know, the home inspection will determine that stuff. But like other than that, we're not going in and like flipping their unit, renovating their unit, giving them a new kitchen, shit like that. We're not doing that, right? So you're not going to see like a bunch of little stuff. But when they do finally move out, then, you know, that 45 you've been saving, you've been saving, boom. You're going to get a big-ass bill, dude, because to get this to Section 8 ready, bro, it's probably going to be like 10K, 5 to 10K, depending on the fixtures you get, right? So keep that in mind. And like your capital expenditures, right? Your roof, a roof on a property like this, dude, it's not a very big duplex. It's fairly small. Um, I don't know. I've seen like really, really big duplexes in the Cleveland market with like the uh, just like massive properties they could be as high as like eight this one's a little smaller dude so i think we'll be in like the six to seven thousand dollar range roofs last 30 years don't think that you're getting a new roof right your inspector's probably gonna you know give you a 90 page inspection report with a million violations on them don't think i'm not anticipating that don't think that i haven't baked that into the cake of why i think we could pick it up for 44k don't think the listing agent from keller williams didn't bake that into the cake that's why she listed it at 49 right we know that nothing brand new so don't be like 
Oh, sweet, we're going to get it at 44 k and then the inspection comes back. You're like, James, the roof's old, the furnaces are old. we got to drop the price 20 k No, man, I, I know. I know that it's old. That's why we're talking about the numbers we're talking about, right? So 30 years is how long these things last. It's probably six or $7,000 roof because it's not like the biggest duplex I've ever seen. So that's what you're going to factor in. Hot water tanks, you got to replace those every 15 years about. Those are about a G. Furnaces, you replace those every 30 years. Those are about three Gs, right? So you're going to account for that stuff, right? Then you got all the other stuff, taxes, insurance, blah, blah, blah. So accounting for all that, 265 on average. If you pick it up at 44,000, bro, it's a 7.2 cap, and it still looks to be, even though it's rough, it's cosmetically ugly, it's beat. We could probably still get it picked up with a loan. No reason for you to pay cash, dude. So you're only gonna need to put down eleven thousand. You got sixty grand right now. You're only gonna have eleven K into this particular deal. What does that leave you with? That leaves you with forty nine thousand uh, dollars to continue on to build up a bigger portfolio, right? And the mortgage it's cheap. The whole thing right now, thirteen point seven five percent cash on cash return. So just take that money, run. Ride these tenants out as long as humanly possible. They've both been there for a little while. They're both paying super small rents, dude. Maybe we'll slowly increase them in like a year, get those rents a little higher. But other than that, dude, we don't want these people moving out, right? Because as soon as they move out, you got to fork over maybe $10,000, maybe $20,000 to get us new tenants. But the good news is when you do that, then we're going to get them Section 8 tenants in there, and then it's going to be smooth sailing. And again, we could rent it for almost or almost as much as 1400 a month. I'm putting a market value on each of these units, depending on the fixtures uh, and time of the year, things of that nature, at 650 to 700 per unit per month, right? So for all those reasons, I think this would be a much better buy. And I like the fact that you're a super young guy with this high risk tolerance, right? Because like, if you were like 65 and you wanted to get into high risk real estate, I'd be like, bro, I don't know, dude. You're like at retirement age. Why don't we get some low risk stuff, right? The older you get, the lower your risk tolerance should go, right? You don't want to just continually get high risk stuff as you get older into age, right? You need to start living off that retirement money. But you're a young guy, man. Like, dude, you probably don't need this money uh, till retirement, right? So you could really build up a big business, scale it out. Because, dude, whenever you get these low-income rentals, even though we're going to go Section 8 to alleviate a lot of those risks, dude, at no point, like if you have 100, <laughs> if you get 100 D-class rentals, bro, at no point is there any, like, scenario where all your units are, like, good, everything's perfect, everything's low-key. Like, there will be problems every single month. I don't know if you've already seen it, but if you haven't, I want I want you and everybody else who's watching right now to go look at some of the episodes of the Tenants from Hell show, okay? Some of those uh, episodes, man, they're fucking rough, and where do you think I get all that content from, guys? I get them from the C neighborhoods. I get them from the D neighborhoods, so, you know, that's... It's all baked into the cake, though, right? A lot of money can be made. We could do it. But I like that you're young and you could, like, really ride a lot of these peaks and valleys, bro, because that's what the performance is going to be like. You know, we're Holton Wise. We're the biggest name in the game. Nobody has a portfolio like ours in the Cleveland market. Like, you know, there is no, like, legitimate competition that we have for what we do. And, uh, you know, we're good. We know what we're doing. But that doesn't mean I can, like, make – these neighborhoods perform perfectly for you, right? It doesn't matter. I'm not magic. It is what it is. We are the best at reacting to it and mitigating risks to try to prevent it in the future. But, dude, it is, it is what it is. So there's, there's going to be some rough stuff. So the fact that you're young, you could ride that out. I really like that. I like this property for you. All right, Carrie, that's what I got for you today, bro. Uh, you know, we got four total units three of which are occupied. It's about as close as I can come to checking off all the boxes that you've asked me to close. So you know the drill, brother. Uh, let me and my team know in the private email uh, with the link to this private video right now what you want to do. Everyone else out there, if you're watching this episode and you are not my man, Carrie, just so you know these deals, they're done, they're gone, they're over with. Um, we send these out to you guys in private links, and we only release them publicly on Holton Wise TV after all the dust is settled so you guys can all learn, get some information on the market. Because, again, the whole the spearhead of our entire business, guys, it's the media and it's the education, right? We are here with top-to-bottom services, but above that, we're here to 
educate you, hopefully entertain you a little bit in the process, and teach you all to be better investors. So that's why all the content is available for free on HoltonWise.com. And I already told you how to go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab if you'd like to go deeper and work with us one-on-one. -on -one. That's all I've got for you on today's show, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REIB is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.